I've been studying uh, embryonic heart development and for a number of years I've been using the Mexican axolotl, which is this salamander you see here. Uh, because it has a genetic mutation in which the heart forms but fails to beat. We found that this single gene mutation had a defect in a component that allowed the heart muscle to be induced from non-muscle tissue. And so we were able to, through a series of experiments, show we could take a normal axolotl and rescue a mutant heart by using normal RNA. We wanted to know whether we would be able to take human RNA and cause this same kind of a rescue. Basically, what this research means then is that we will be able to look at individuals who have had, let's say, myocardial infarcts, heart attacks, and have areas on their heart that's been damaged. We think we will be able to take this RNA, this ribonucleic acid, treat those damaged areas in the heart, and cause that heart tissue to reform into functional muscle again. So that individuals who have suffered heart attacks could then return to pre-heart attack activity levels and basically become healthy, normal individuals again. The students here actually participate in the planning of experiments, the carrying out of experiments, the preparation of this work for publication, and uh, we hope at some point uh, going to national meetings and presenting this work. So. I think it is a very unique and rich opportunity that our students are afforded here at A&M Commerce.